Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> From Austin, Texas, I have my coffee here. It's morning coffee with Will. I really like the morning time. It's a really special time when, again, as I've said in past mornings with Will, that you feel like you're born anew and that you have a chance to do it all over again in the morning. As I was going to bed last night, And this is nothing new that many of us have wrestled with this reality. But my mom was telling me that in the new operating system on the iPhone, that there's a function in there that lets you know how much screen time you've been spending. The thought occurred to me as I was falling off to sleep, wow, you spend a lot of time on your phone and for good reason. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a self-employed person, have been since I was a teenager. And it's an incredible tool to catapult, to save time, to run your business. It's an incredible tool that it, almost those of us who do this have an excuse to use the iPhone so much to carry ourselves into the future and, and to create great success for us. But then I thought, is that the will? Is that the reality I really want to live? A person who's walking around with her phone all the time. And Karen and I have talked about this a lot. We were actually adults. It makes us feel very odd. We were adults when there were no iPhones around and we walked around on the earth in the consciousness of the, of the car and the TV set and the landline, the landline consciousness, which is a much different consciousness of connection that we live in today. Is that what I, is that how I want to live the last days of my earth? Last days on the earth here, the next 20, 30 years is attached to my phone. The irony is I'm using this phone to make this video right now. And it was scary to think of this, that for 10 years, the iPhone has been around for more than 10 years, I think 12 years that I have spent the last 12 years using the iPhone, using the laptop to an unbelievable degree. There, there is this addiction, there is this feeling of it never being done and that I could, I could be on it and to compete with so many others that are doing the same thing. The irony of it was that these technologies were to free us. And I'm just checking in again this morning and saying, no, that isn't the reality I wanna create. That isn't the reality I want to create. Where here I am this morning, the reality I'd love to create is maybe I'm on the phone for a little bit in the morning doing my coffee with Will, and then it goes off. And then it's off for four to six to eight hours, and maybe I check in a couple times a day, and that's it. Same thing with the email. I want my life to be more like what it was in, in the 80s in terms of just walking about the earth and being here now and connecting with whatever activities in the physical world I was doing at the time. So I am grateful for this technology. I'm grateful that so many of our millennials are finding beautiful truths and wisdoms like ecstatic dance, and meditation and mindfulness. There's so many of us in the eighties and before that, that didn't have access to this information and to live more connected community-oriented lives, and it's ironic that we're using these devices. I'm holding this in my hand right now. But I was very scared last night, thinking that I've spent the last 10 years basically attached to my devices, that I've spent a decade, basically my entire 40s, essentially with another partner following me around everywhere, and that is an iPhone or a laptop. And that, do I want to just fall asleep for the next 10 years? No, I don't. I want to create, as I say in the, the forum, a possibility for myself and enroll others in that. And Karen and I have been battling this idea of having the cell phones off in the morning. And here I am using it to make the morning coffee with Will and share thoughts. So we've been working on, I've been working on this brain training course which says for the first hour when you wake up don't even touch your phone don't even turn it on 
and I did it for about a week and then I fell back in my old ways and the morning routine involved taking a cold shower meditating writing down your dreams and I was feeling really good so I'm just sharing with you with with you these scary thoughts I mean another thing is is my daughter Coralina last night uh, woke up one o'clock and we're very careful Karen is very careful with Coralina and her device use and the, one of the things she said was I need to watch the video to go back to sleep is that the reality we want to create that's not the reality I want to create for myself and I hope many of you will take pause to think about that but I'm scared to think that for 10 years I've been running my life with this device attached that's not the that's not the life I want to create. Could there be a very, very healthy balance? And how do we make that happen? Okay, that's it for today. I'm out the end of the week here, sharing with you that we have shows coming up, stringsattached.org for all of our shows. If you're interested in seeing where we're gonna be out live, if you're interested in being a part of the healing shows that we do in nature, Strings in the Woods, we have one this Wednesday. That's on Facebook, <laughs> Strings in the Woods. Um, and Strings Attached Cares, music for the elderly, kids, people in need, stringsattachedcares.org. Reach out and come see us in person. That's the main thing I'm trying to encourage by using this technology is to be connected with you wherever, wherever you are all over Austin and come meet me in person in the flesh and let's connect and let's have a hug and let's, let's talk about these things and let's make some music together and let's make some community together. Take care.